What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine and we're going to take a look at this really cool Flagstaff Super Light fifth wheel. Now Flagstaff is really well known for their travel trailers. A lot of folks have seen their fifth wheels before. I think I've even featured one at one point a long time ago. But there's a lot to like about the Flagstaff product because they do things a little bit different. One of the biggest things that they do different is the suspension. The fact that they do a torsion style suspension. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, before we get too much further, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. It's a little bit dirty, it just came in, and it's kind of muddy outside. But this unit has a gross vehicle weight rating of 12,075 pounds. It has a cargo capacity of 1,804 pounds, and it rides on twin 5,200 pound axles. So you got 10,400 pounds worth of axle capacity. You're gonna transfer probably about 2,500 pounds to the back of your truck when this thing's fully loaded. So the axles are more than adequate for this size trailer. And if you don't load it up with 1,804 pounds worth of cargo, that gives you a little bit more wiggle room there as well. This is going to ride on 16 inch e-rated tires and this is a relatively short unit so this coach is going to be only about 36 feet long it is what i would consider to be a mid profile style fifth wheel which means it's not quite as tall when you compare it to something like this north point right next to it you can generally see the difference in overall height which means you'll be able to get this into areas that you might not be able to get a larger fifth wheel this unit itself is something that i would consider to be one ton single rear wheel towable I really wouldn't put this behind a three-quarter ton truck unless the three-quarter ton truck that you're getting is specced out with at least 3,800 pounds worth of cargo capacity. Mainly because after you load the hitch in the bed, all your supplies, everything else, you're going to be pushing it for just about any other three-quarter ton out there. This has the new Trail Air LCI turning point hitch. So this is a really interesting hitch design. It basically rotates right here, and this is used for shorter bed trucks. So if you don't have an foot bed truck you can utilize this in a truck with the shorter bed coming back and here are your controls for your auto leveling system very nice I spoke about that in a previous video where you're starting to see these smaller units come with auto leveling as an option which is nice let's take a look in this front under storage Underneath here, you have a nice spot. You do have two battery boxes here, which is pretty synonymous with how Flagstaff actually makes their units. Um, you see that on their travel trailers as well. You could easily put a small portable generator in here if you wanted, though. Nice thick baggage doors and dual slam latches as well. You generally don't see slam latches on the front lower storage area, which is really nice to see. Coming around, you're likely going to have a 30-pound propane tank on each side. Again, your auto leveling system here. Again, nice thick slam latch baggage doors. Has a very good size underbelly basement storage area. Nice three inch aluminum framing for the bath deck. You have a water filter system already in place. Very, very good size storage. This is actually much larger than I anticipated before opening this. Nice clean wet bay right here. I like how it dumps into this lower tray. One of the reasons why you have this step up right here is because this does not utilize a drop frame. If this had a drop frame, like this unit right here, you wouldn't have that area protruding up. So as you see here, you can see how large and open this storage is on a unit with a drop frame. Basically a drop frame is an I-beam that attaches to the main beam and it drops lower right here to give you more storage. On this unit, it's just one solid I-beam that runs front to back. This is the outside of your furnace. I love the fact that they put this light right here. I've been screaming for manufacturers to do that forever and they're finally starting to do it. So I hope I helped influence that. Down here, you have your wastegate, your valves. You have your second gray tank, which generally means your kitchen and your bathroom will have their own gray tank. Underneath here, this rides on a 10 inch I-beam frame and this utilizes the Dexter Torflex suspension, which is really nice. No leaf springs. This is a torsion flex style suspension. Basically, there's rubber beads that surround a steel tube in here. And as that tube rotates, a, a square steel tube, it creates suspension. So that's really cool. Rack and pinion slide back here. I absolutely love how Flagstaff builds their units. They do a really good job. 
This is gonna be the back of your refrigerator. And this is a residential refrigerator. One way you can tell right off the bat is you don't see any of the ventilation back here that you would typically see on a gas electric unit. You have the back of your exhaust fan there. That's gonna generally be above your stove. Back here, this is riding on Goodyear Endurance tires. So that's another big switch that they've done at Flagstaff. They've gone to a much better quality tire. You can see the back of your electronic leveling system. That's your ground control 3.0. On this side, I imagine this is going to be storage. Don't want to open it too much because there's a slide right here. You have storage. This is a really cool thing that Flagstaff does as well. Typically, some of this space may be dead, unutilized space, but they give it back to you and they give you the ability to store things out here. Even though it's not too deep, it's definitely large enough to store things like some folding chairs, a folding table and such. And again, nice thick baggage doors with some nice struts holding it up. Coming around back, you have your 50 amp connection right here. All LED lighting, frameless windows, and you have a full walk-on roof. This is also wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. You have a two inch receiver back here for a cargo rack, but you have a cargo rack that's already attached, which is really nice. On this side, you're gonna have an outside shower. Very nice with a quick disconnect plug. You have another rack and pinion slide on this side. Two awnings, you have one that is on the actual slide body itself, which is really nice. That way you don't have you know, an awning above it that you lose space because the slide is out. So this is a really nice setup for an awning. You have your stereo speakers out here, cable, power connection for a TV, and a place to mount a TV bracket. Up front, you have a nice size awning as well. You pretty much get entire campsite coverage when your awnings are out, which is really nice. Outside of your water heater, it's gonna be your other propane tank, and this is gonna be your other storage. You can open this up real quick. Very nice storage area. It's actually much larger than I anticipated it would be. Let's step up your Moride Step Above Steps into this Flagstaff 529 IKRL rear living room unit. Open the door, first thing you'll notice, it has a nice friction hinge. It also utilizes this kind of upgraded screen door closing mechanism. Basically it's on a little strap that pulls the screen door shut. And then you have a really nice blind that can cover up the window, which is nice. Coming here, this unit has a dry weight of 10,212 pounds and a total length of 36 feet 6 inches. I was pretty close. Stepping inside, very, very nice unit. In my opinion, Flagstaff builds some of the best quality trailers and fifth wheels that you can buy. They're absolutely great for the price. They have extraordinary value to them, which in an industry that's often plagued by you know poor craftsmanship and problems, it's good to know that some manufacturers still focus on some of those things. Not to say that you're gonna you know ever find a perfect unit with absolutely nothing wrong, but you know I've just seen over the years that Flagstaff builds a very good quality unit. You have a nice booth dinette right here that converts into a bed. Nice theater seating here with power extend, which is really nice. You can see an area right here, the carpet just has to kind of be pushed back underneath there. You have a nice sofa here at the end that converts into a large bed. Tremendous amount of space here in front of the fireplace area. You have nice end tables next to the end of the sofa itself. A lot of storage up top. Good size TV, nice fireplace. Everything's kind of flush right here, which is really cool. You have some storage spaces right there. Has a panoramic fireplace. The kitchen area is relatively compact. I probably would have liked to see maybe a slightly narrower pantry here and a little bit more room around the actual stove, but it is a good size pantry. Lots of space in there. And then you have a three burner gas cooktop here from Magic Chef, nice drawer underneath. You have a micro microwave here. Your vent hood on the other side is where you saw that exhaust vent on the outside. Nice storage, this is gonna be your furnace ducting. Lots of storage under here. 
What's really cool is that the island is completely unobstructed. There's nothing in it. So they put the sink over here, which is very similar to the Coachman unit that we used to have. And I like that. I love it when they give you more countertop space. You have a couple bar stools here. This turns into a really great area to entertain, eat, work. You know, you just gives you a really nice surface, especially if you bring stuff in and you want to set it somewhere. A lot of countertop space next to the sink. Has a dual basin stainless steel sink. Great place for a coffee maker. This has the new Hisense residential refrigerator. It's all closed up right now. You basically unscrew this. And you can see this unit is relatively fresh on the lot. Very nice refrigerator. And here are your freezer drawers and your ice maker storage. Even under the sink, you have quite a bit of storage. They've done a good job of offsetting your plumbing, so it gives you some storage space back. Not a lot of drawers. There's only four drawers total in the kitchen. One under the stove, and then these three right here. This would be for your silverware and all your utensils. Nice deep cabinets. Plenty of room for plates, dishes, and such. Has a nice backsplash. Some of your air conditioning controls, some of your max air vent controls, which is going to be this fan up here. And then all of your slide controls, awning, lights, everything is going to be on this control panel. Very clean. I actually like the look of this. Very nice. And it protrudes off the wall slightly so you don't have as much pressure on the wires behind here. It is prepped for solar, so this gives you the ability to wire for up to 30 amps of solar power, which is really nice. And that's the wire rating inside. Stepping up into the bathroom area. Very nice shower. This is a much larger shower than most people would anticipate in a unit this size. Lots of room for toiletries, towels and such. Nice stainless steel basin sink, nice hardware, good size medicine cabinet and a nice light fixture. Plus it has a nice vent up top. It is a two piece shower stall system with a nice seat at the end. You could probably be in the area of about six foot four to comfortably fit inside of this bathroom. Overall, very nice. Stepping up front into the bedroom area, has a king size bed. That is really nice. You have about eight inches of space on each side to get onto the bed. Lots of storage up front here. This is interesting because it is prepped for a washer and dryer. You would have to take these shelves out for it to fit and it would probably have to be a side-by-side -side unit or a combo unit. There's no way you're gonna be able to fit a stackable unit in here. Then over here, lots of additional wardrobe space as well. You have nice little nightstands that kind of elevate up right there. You might want to be careful if you lift your head and you're real close to it. But you have pretty good slide heights as well. You don't really have to worry about hitting your head on the top of the slide. You have your second air conditioning unit up here. Everything is ducted throughout the coach. Your wardrobe dresser is down here. Nice roller bearings. They fully extend, which is also really nice. Place for your TV and your backer right here. Good placement for it overall. But yeah, this is a really nice fifth wheel. And it's definitely one that if you're looking for a slightly lighter, slightly shorter unit that isn't quite as tall, this can fit in a lot of places that your larger, more massive fifth wheels might not be able to. So it's definitely worth taking a look at. They have the price right here. This has an MSRP of 64,816 and a sale price of 51,999, which in my opinion is actually a pretty good price for this unit. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.